I'm going to probably mention some things about Cal State Long Beach's dorms and the whole situation with that. None of this information is endorsed or anything by the university itself or by the Housing and Residential Life Association of Housing. This is all just my personal experiences and information that I collected during my freshman year of college. Good morning. It is 9 a.m. on Sunday, August 1st. I am moving into the dorms today. I'm still a bit swollen from having my wisdom teeth taken out. Not a fun experience. I was originally supposed to move in yesterday. That did not happen because yesterday I was still in excruciating pain. So we're just doing some last minute packing, loading up the car, and then we'll be off. Stick around if you want to move in with me to the dorms at CSU Long Beach. So as you can probably tell, I'm pretty much moved in already. Um, I didn't vlog the day I said I was going to because I was in pain from having my wisdom teeth taken out. I ended up having to go home for an oral surgeon checkup thing um, to make sure everything's healing right, which means yesterday when we move, moved in, I just dropped my stuff off and I went back home for a day. Did my checkup this morning and now I'm like putting away all the things I dropped off here yesterday. So basically I'm turning this vlog move move in vlog into like a move in and like putting away kind of vlog and then a dorm tour so that's the plan right now i'm gonna get to work putting some stuff away and maybe make some coffee Good evening everyone, it is Thursday of the following week, or the continuing week, I don't really know when I last filmed, but I told you this was going to be a little bit of a dorm tour, so now it's time for my dorm tour. So the view from my window is mostly just the dining hall, and this is yes, a very dirty window, Um, but I do have a nice sunset right now, so that's pretty. And then here is my bed, right here, so you can see the bedspread I got from Ikea. Actually, everything on this bed is from Ikea, except for that one pillows from Target. I have these drawers under here. Um, I have a few shelves. Those have extra bed linens in them. This um, shelf pulls out from the shelves to make like a nice nightstand. Over here, I have the sink with a mirror. Um, this is like an extra fancy medicine cabinet where like each of the panels opens to be like a door to store things and i have towels hanging those are the dishes i need to do that i forgot to do and i have this cart with like extra towels in it um makeup skincare my retainer <laughs> um under there you can see the ice packs i've been using because i just got my wisdom teeth out and then i have my backpacks and bags hanging over here is my desk i have the fake plants i got from ikea i keep my accessories in there i have more fake plants i have my extension cord set up there that has connections to like my blender my fridge my microwave this drawer has yet to be organized, but I have a large drawer here for all my supplies and stuff like that. I have a rolly chair, which I absolutely love because I can just spin around and roll from area to area. And then over here, I have like the microwave and 
fridge that comes with the dorm room. I have like the various appliances I use, like water and coffee. So I have this cart with like various snacks and stuff. This picture on the back is to keep coffee warm. I have my French press. I have another fake plant, which is sideways for whatever reason. Various other necessities, spices and stevia and things like that. And then in this corner, I have a couch, which I study a lot on. As you know, I usually study in bed, but I haven't been studying in bed here. It also folds down into like a bed. What I've been doing is just doing that to make more space and then using this pillow over here against the wall. And then in the final side of my room, you can see I have a closet, or I actually have two closets. It makes the room feel like twice the size. So if we go within the closet, here I have like tank tops and skirts and that kind of thing. Bags and belts and stuff are hanging out. Um, a stack of clothes that I just never got around to finding a spot for. I have some drawers here for extra storage. And then on the other side of this closet. So on this side I have laundry and cleaning things. This is my little cleaning basket with some rags, Windex, and Clorox wipes. That's my dirty clothes basket hamper thing. I have laundry pods in there. I have a drying rack folded up in the back and a mini ironing board hanging. As you can see, I also have storage on top of this closet, which has random stuff from my iron to a backpack, paper towels, and over there I have snacks. So in this side is the majority of my clothes. So as you can see, all like my shirts and stuff and pants are all right there. I have my roller skates. I have a box of like hand sanitizer and random like Advil, Tylenol, med type stuff for when I guess, when, when, not if I get sick. And up on the top of this one, I am storing my shoes, which are primarily all the same, um, apparently. On this half of the closet, I have the remainder of my clothes. Um, this is more long sleeves and jackets kind of stuff. And then again, shoes on top. And then there's also lots of storage on top of the closet. As you can see, I'm not even using it all. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire room. I hope you really enjoyed this tour. I had a lot of fun decorating everything, putting it all together. Yeah, so this is kind of the whole, whole room as it ended up looking. This is the finished product pretty much. This is why I should not be living alone. I just, I, I spin in circles instead of actually studying for the MCAT. Look out for my next study vlog where I tackle that and try to get on top of things. If you want to support me making videos even when I'm in pain because I got my wisdom teeth removed, please like and subscribe, leave me comments. You can follow me on the majority of social media platforms at Med Student Media. It was great seeing you guys this week. I'll see you for the next video and good night.